Oh, not this way. This way? Yeah, probably this way. Hi, guys! Vex here! Welcome back to some more... Ah, yes, this is the right way. Good. Welcome back to some more Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, okay, so before I go be a page to Lord Farquaad, basically, um, we got, uh, I wanted to get out of debt to the miller and finish that quest. So, I googled where to get lockpicks in, uh, hey, Mrs. Wiggles, and other Mrs. Wiggles. Where to get lockpicks in Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, hey, puppies, hello, yes, bark, 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 yes. I can wash up here, good. The best place to get lockpicks is the miller that I'm indebted to. After I beat the quest and pay off the debt, he'll sell lockpicks to me. Yep. So in order to buy lockpicks, we'll see. Okay, so I need lockpicks to pick the chest in here and get the ring to beat the quest to unlock the miller who will sell me lockpicks. So I'm screwed. I'm totally screwed here. Um, hello? I'm just gonna walk in. Or sneak in. Oh, nope. Hello? I'm just gonna be... I'm not sneaking at all. I'm here on legal, proper business. Hello? Are you in here? Yes. Summon your master. Get him out here so I can talk to him. Go. Go. Yes. 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 Bark. Hello. Hello. Yes. Okay. Go get your master. Yeah. I'm... Oh my god. I love how the pigs don't care. Hey. Oh. He did come out. Hey. All right. So, if I can't get lockpicks without beating the quest, and to beat the quest I need lockpicks, I was thinking, maybe there's another way around this, and I could just, like, try talking to him. See if I can beat the quest this way. This is a bit awkward, but recently you buried a convict, and um, this convict... Um... Play on his feelings. Um, we both have the same speech, so... Uh, is that like a 50-50 chance? It was a family man. He left three young children, and I thought it might ease their hearts if I gave them the ring their father had on him in his final hour. I'm sure you wouldn't bury him with such a valuable thing. Children, you say? You're right, I do have the ring. But actually, it's a worthless bauble. You can have it for a few groschen. Yep. That you know what? That's the same price as a lockpick, guys, I think. It's a deal. Here it is. What is on his chest? What? This is nothing but an ordinary copper band. It's not worth a tin penny. All right. Well, whatever. I got the ring. <laughs> And now I'm going to run back through the woods and hopefully level more vigor, vitality, athletics, whatever. Or I'll fall down like a one-foot fall and hurt my foot and bleed out and die from my foot, because that happened one time. I think I was bleeding out from both feet and I died. Or I was going to die. I, I like, I was about to die, and I was like, no, I'm not dying. I'm just going to reload my last save. Um, speaking of saves, guys, uh, I poked Warhorse Studios on Twitter. By the time you actually watch this video, this may have already actually come out. Because um, I'm recording in advance, and I'm, you know, uploading and stuff. to, And that way, you know, in some days I don't record... I still have a video, so sometimes I'll sit down and I'll record, like, four videos in a row back-to-back. -back. Um, 
and that way I can go work on Super Hostile Online and, and my other Super Hostile maps and, and all that stuff. Uh, which is one one thing YouTube has on it compared to live streaming. You know, live streaming, obviously, I have to be right there live. Um, so, recording videos is more convenient as far as that goes. Uh, but yeah, by the time you guys see this, it, it, it might have already been patched in the game. But I tweeted Warhorse Studios, and apparently they... Oh, they followed me, by the way, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, hi to anyone from Warhorse watching this. I love the game. It's amazing. Uh, especially for uh, a smaller than huge developer. I mean, you're not you're not a small developer, but you're not like a huge studio either. This is an, a really great game. Like this is really amazing. Um, all right, where's the dude to turn in this? But they they're gonna do save on quit, and they're gonna do maybe something about the lock picking. Uh, uh the lock picking using a controller, which is what I'm using because I like to lean back in my chair and be comfortable and not hunched over a keyboard for a little bit. Um, it's too hard to be blunt about it. It's just too hard. God be with you. So as of today, when I saw the uh the stuff on on Twitter, it's it's maybe maybe a week to two weeks. So if I've uploaded that many videos... Uh, no, by the time you see this, there might be like a few days left before the patch comes out that changes that stuff. Um, anyway, let's get done with this damn quest. I got the ring. I'll have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring to Wojtsek, the Miller and Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you. And I'll have something for you soon, too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. I mean, the kind that used to belong to someone else and you can't sell to just anyone. Stolen goods? Thanks, but no thanks. I'm not a thief. Oh. I wonder if I get to do this again. Will he give me some lock picks? This trunk. Hold the lock pick in your right hand. Oh my and god, we get another chance at this. In your left hand, you hold the blade. All right, so can I all right. turn the whole mechanism at the right mode. It's what got it. I'm going to use the Good. mouse and keyboard. Now turn the whole right, lock so the blade. So moving the mouse just moves this around and then the what? With the pick. Is it left click? It'll be fucked and you'll have to start all over again. Right, is it right click? Is it is it D? Oh, it's D. So D and moving the mouse around. You forced Shit. it and broke the lock pick. That crack could be heard in Kuttenberg. You have to watch Dude, out. That goes that. really fast. The experienced guard will recognize the sound at once. Can I? Okay. Have you lost something? All right. Cursor, cursor, rotate. Oh, man. Holy crap. Okay, so... This... Oh, man, when you rotate it... Oh, wow, that goes fast. At least... Okay, well, at least when I'm using the controller, I've actually got, like... Some control over the speed. Looks like I reset it. Oh, that is easier because it goes it goes faster, and you spend less time trying to rotate it. Cool, I did it. Oh, do I get to try again? It relocked. All right, let's try it. Let's try it with the cursor this time, or I mean, controller. That 
better reset. Alright, let's try it with the keyboard and mouse again. Uh, it's so much easier with the keyboard and mouse. Jesus. Like, it's way easier with the keyboard and mouse. Look at that! Suddenly I'm capable of lockpicking now. Okay, they need to they need to do something about the controller like the way the controller handles the, the lock picking or something to make it more in line with how difficult this is. Cause this is like trying to use the controller to lockpick is a nightmare. Uh is this gonna lock again? Cause can I can I keep trying? Do I have to open it? I must have to open it and step away. I wonder if he's going to say anything about... Alright, where's the sweet spot? Roughly there. And I don't even have the easier lockpick mod type thing going. Alright, so what's my lockpick skill looking like now? Two. Two. In level three, lasting lock picks. Land will be more durable, last choices. Oh, I need that. Maybe I should keep training this until I. All right, I'm 24% right now. Let's try this again. If you don't put that weapon away right now. I'll call a guard on you. All right, put the weapon away. Chill. Chill, bro. Oh uh, yeah, I've got to open it and then it resets. Okay. All right, so I was at 24%. Now, let's open it and let it reset. Uh, now I'm at player skills 44%. Okay, yeah, I can do that a few more times to level up and get the perk. I can, that, that is, I can do that. Uh, e? Does E not open those? So, uh, oh, there, now it's reset. Alright, let's do this. So apparently, the way you lockpick in this game is to switch to the keyboard and mouse for the lockpicking real quick. That's, that's apparently, that's the big secret, guys! I don't think I've ever seen as much of a disparity in difficulty just between a keyboard and mouse and a controller in a video game before. Like, I felt like I did that very sloppily, and I still managed to do it. Meanwhile, when I get it with a controller, it feels like a Christmas miracle, you know? Where's the sweet spot on this one? Oh, there it is. There we go. So I can get a lock picking perk. Hell yeah. <laughs> Drill and last twice as long. Um, 20% versus effectively doubling the amount of lock picks I have. Um, yeah, thanks, but I'm going to go with that one. Sweet. How many lockpicks do I have? I have 
one left. Alright, cool. One left. Are we done here? I, I, we're done here, right? Or... Yeah, I'm gonna say we're done here. Jesus! Yes, praise Jesus. Praise Keck. Mostly praise Keck. Uh... Oh, Keck, deliver unto me your blessed dubs. Or trips. I take trips, too. Alright, I gotta go... Oh my gosh. I've got to go north up to... Over there. So... Uh, I'm not sure where to go. Let's toggle full screen. Zoom out. So it looks like the road goes... Mm, should I take the bridge? I guess I'll take the bridge. Alright, let's see. Quest log. Alright, well, off we go. North. Shame I can't swim. Oh, great. Cannot swim. You uh, didn't want to tell me that earlier, Henry? That you can't swim? Oh, well, all that jumping around at least leveled up my vitality. That's pretty cool. Alright, no worries. Alright, let's go. Way. Must have been to different bridge. Probably this actual bridge, as opposed to the whatever the hell that was over there. Hello, cow. Good morning to you. See, if this were Skyrim, I'd go steal all those cabbages. and then take all of these plants. Sir, a word if you please. Hello. What is it? I'd like to challenge you to a duel, sir. A little amicable combat. Oh wow, okay. Why should we fight? Why would I want to fight you? And honor him, friend, for honor, for the thrill of combat. Oh, yeah, that makes sense to me. If that's how you look at it. So, shall we cross swords? That sounds interesting. But what shall we fight for? Ah, so chivalry alone is not enough to tempt you. No, sir. I'm drawn to more, uh, glittering bait. I see. Well, why not? Let us make it more interesting, then. I'll tell you what. I have a fine suit of armor, a horse and a sword I want at dice. The horse and sword I can use, but the armor doesn't fit me well. I'll bet a piece of armor against a reasonable sum of groschen. Oh. I am... I am... I think... You know what? I think honor should be enough. I don't have that much coin on me. You're the one who wants a wager, friend. I'm still willing to fight you for honor alone, if you so wish. Let's do this. Why not? I could use a little exercise. Excellent. I see you have no fear. Let's get to it, then. Wait. Where's my... No, wait, 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 wait. Where's my sword? Oh! Uh, hold on a sec. Hold, hold, hold on a sec. <laughs> Jesus, dude! <laughs> Dis dishonor! Dishonor to you! I don't even have a sword out. Um, Let's get the shard, I suppose. Ha! 
Please pull out now my sword. Oh, here we go. Language? Language, buddy. You fought well, friend. Dude, your stuff does way too much damage. You fought well, friend. Are you serious? I only lost because you were, like, beating on me before I even had my weapons equipped, you dishonorable cur. A pox on you and a pox on your whoring mother. Ooh, yeah, I went there. Oh, but seriously, no, my health is all fucked up. I gotta... Damn you! <sighs> now I've got to go sleep it off. Because I have no other way to heal myself, because I'm a low-level little shit. <laughs> Teresa, uh, the bad knight touched me in the bad spots. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? I've brought you something. Um, thank you, but I'm not quite what sure did I give her? what to do with it. Well, if, if something bad happened to you again, it could come in handy. I see. Well, that's a kind thought. But I'm not sure it would do much good against those three big men. So, uh, how have you been? I can't stop thinking about Scalitz. I know. It was hell. But life has to go on. Why not clear your head and try to forget about it? At least for now. What do you mean? Do you feel like a walk? That's not a bad idea. And where would you care to go? How about a stroll along the river? What if we took a stroll along the river? Why not? That sounds lovely. Shall we go? Let's go. Uh, so apparently I'm doing this now. You know, the vision's a bit bloody, but... It's, uh... Huh. Alright. Let's check the codex real quick. Um, general. Courtship? Courtship? Uh... Okay. <laughs> Juice. <laughs> it's just a... Language, literature, money, hmm. Huh. Women in the Middle Ages? Uh, mm-hmm. Events, society, tutor tutorials. No, I could have sworn that there was a, like a courtship little tutorial that was in here somewhere. Oh, well. Let's take a walk. Hey! I feel like I should have rested an hour before doing this. If we get attacked by bandits and I've got like... Well, shit. I hope this is just nothing but a pleasant stroll. That was a good idea to go for a walk. Not that I don't like the mill, but you get tired of it. So I'm glad you took me out. I'd love to see the markets in Prague one day. Have you ever been to Prague? No, I haven't. I have been in Kuttenberg, but Prague must be much bigger. <laughs> I've heard it's pretty smelly, though. Yeah, so many people in one place. So many assholes. <laughs> That's disgusting. 
I'd love to listen to that young preacher, Jan Hus. They say he preaches in the common tongue. Everyone's talking about it. I bet he's just handsome. That's why the women dote on him. <laughs> You're a right one. A preacher doesn't need good looks for people to listen to him. And what about that fine fellow at St. James? I know full well why all the girls have started going to confession, and you have too, so don't give me any of that. <laughs> you scoundrel. Well, all right. I admit I find him handsome. But that doesn't make me a bad Christian. I'd never dare to suggest such a thing. Tell you what. Let's not doddle. Last one is a slimy slug. All right. What are you doing? What is it? Oh crap! I don't have the stamina because I'm hurt. What are you doing? And I'm like full. I've got the I've got the the overeating debuff. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm I'm rocking the vitality so I can run. Suck it, Teresa. I mean, I mean not like. Oh goddamn it! Have I left her in the dust? Hell yeah. Oh, run! If nothing else, Henry here would make a good horse, I suppose. This is a great walk. This is what people did in the Middle Ages. Oh, oops. I, I was... I don't know where we were racing to, but... <laughs> that was fun. Sit down here next to me, Hal. I was whooping her ass, so she was like, Oh, let's stop here. <laughs> and what about you? I heard you're helping Sir Radzig. Sir Radzig has me running in a few errands. I have to say, he always treats me well. And I make a wage. So you've had your turn of luck. What's it like serving nobility? Hmm... I don't know. I suppose it's a job like any other. I don't believe a word of it. If you ask me, you're loving every minute and you don't want to make me envious. I took my helmet off. We're both so dirty. Now then. Oh, Henry, what am I going to do with you? Wandering the land, turning innocent girls' heads. She has higher sword in, like, strength, the strength one than I do. Dude, my character sucks. She's got higher that than me. Well, I guess... <sighs> Let's try this one. The only one here whose head is all messed up is me. How do you always manage to look so good? Just look at the lady killer. Where did you learn to talk that way? Mm. I don't recall which church service it was exactly. <laughs> you scoundrel. But you certainly know how to make a girl feel special. You may continue, <laughs> but now I have to go. Can I go with you? I don't want to give anyone an excuse to gossip. Maybe another time. So do I just die if I go out too deep in water? Damn it, I wish I was able to swim. I should probably don't want to find out right now. All right, uh, let's zip back to. Well, that was a cool diversion. All right. Um, you know, if I, I guess if I wanted to continue, I'm, I'm at least. You know, I've already come out this far just doing the walk. I, I may as well try and get to that other, other place I'm supposed to go to. Um, let's, what's this? Again in a couple of days. Yep, okay. 
Uh, the good thief. Oh, cool. Okay, so he's. I can, hell, I can probably see it from over here. Let's see. Uh, this blood vignette around my screen is obnoxious. I I do need to probably rest it if I find a camp or something. And I've got my I've got my sword in case I okay. I've got my shitty sword. In case I get jumped by stupid bandits or something out in the woods. Not that I would expect bandits to be so close to this area, but you never know. I feel like this right here, like this little pocket in the path, you know what this feels like to me? This feels like some, um, a spawning point for enemies, or, or like an event, you know? Like if you were traveling, like that's a spot you would stop and encounter something, just because there's a little bit of room there. Oh, there's a path here. No, 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 don't go wandering off into the woods. Focus on your mission, you dummy. Yosef, I discovered Yosef. Uh, but it looks like I can't ford the river here. Damn, so... I mean, not that I would want to swim with all this gear on. Right? Seems like an excellent way to just drown. Alright, well, it's, uh, the place I need to go is dead ahead. And medieval times sure involved a lot of walking. No wonder everybody was skinny. You had to just walk everywhere. You didn't get a car. Kick ass. Is this it? Hello, ladies. Ladies. Oh, your face looks a little... interesting. Hello? The hell? Oh, weird. Uh, yeah, you. Waziak. Jesus Christ be praised. Miller Peshek from Ratoy sent me with this ring for you. A ring? Here it is. You gonna turn around, buddy? Useless fucking bauble. You must be Henry, right? Peshek told me about you. What the... Why did you throw it away? Do you know how much trouble I had to get it? Peshek said it was important to you. Like I said, it's a piece of junk. It was just a test to see if you've got the balls to work for the miller. It's a custom of ours, testing fledglings in the trade with a nice little wild goose chase. We need to see if you'll be hobbled by pointless principles, or if you're willing to use your head. Congratulations. You passed the test, and now we'll have a few... I'm just talking to the back you. of this dude's head. What am I to do with these things I pilfer? No one will buy stolen goods from me. Buying and selling stolen goods is a crime. But if they're worth something, I can make sure they're... Uh, properly cared for. Not that I'd buy them from you, but I could... Uh, store them for you. And you'll get some coin for taking care of them before. So if someone loses something, and I happen to find it, I can bring it to you to store, and I'll get Groshen for it. That's the arrangement. I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right. Let's see what we can do about it. Kick that. ass. Game saved. Interesting. Alright, so... How do I... What's stolen? Is it stuff in red? 
I don't actually remember. I guess it doesn't matter. I can just sell anything to them. Well, let's sell this crap. That's dead. Dagger, shard, and tournament arrow, torch. Do I want this dagger? Oh yeah, I need it to backstab people. Uh, um, I don't really want to backstab people, honestly. Though I don't, I, I'd much rather fight with my mace. So I'm just gonna sell that. Uh, what else? Armor. Sell that. Food. Oh, mm. Let's sort by, uh... Yeah, let's sell the old food. A lot of my stuff is gonna go off. Apparently the dried mushrooms last forever. That's great. Alright, let's try haggling. I'd like to discuss the price. Naturally. Alright, let's try and be a little more aggressive at haggling. Satisfied? You're a right pinch purse. Meh. That'll do. I'll go for that. Sweet. Uh, now. Am I allowed to use your bed, or will you guys get really upset with me? I guess I'll go for it. We'll see what happens. Maybe I can just rest for two hours? Because my health was down really low. Basically taking a taking a, uh, a siesta. Ah. Okay. Well, the heartbeat sound effect in the background has stopped. So, yay. Oh, I wanted to see. Oh, he trains in stealth. That's cool. I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right. Let's see what we can do about that. All right. Bye. Um, he sells... Oh, look at that. 20 lockpicks. That kicks ass. Well, I'm going to buy two. Maybe we can do something about that price. I'd like to discuss the price. Sure. Why not? Hmm. So I guess I'll try and be more aggressive with my haggling. Is this enough? You won't convince me with that. Meh. Very well, I agree. Cool, alright. So I've got some lockpicks, 
and I can probably manage to do an easy lock fairly reliably now. Mm. And I've got the perk where my lock picks last twice as long. So that's pretty cool. Alright, now let's see. I am going to go home and sleep. Is there a fat is there a fast travel point for this place? Oh, there's not, is there? Oh, well, I think the miller himself has might have the same type of thing. Whoa, what? Attack on the road? An assassin, huh? The old woman sets a fucking assassin on me? Well, I'll kick it. Ah! Fuck you, bro. Oh, kick ass. You got some nice stuff on you. I even got my, uh... I, I even got my, both my arrows back. Oh, hey, tell you what. Why don't you... Chill. Dude, that's awesome. That's like a free money delivery, basically. Oh, I love that mechanic. I love the random encounter mechanic. That's really cool. Good health to you. Oh! Look at all these... Oh, wow. You've an honest trade. How come you got mixed up in crime? Evil times. The harvest failed, and there was no grain to mill, and a child to feed on top of it all. I had no choice. And meanwhile, the lords in the castle and the monks in the monastery stuffed their craws to bursting. Where's the justice in that? So you took justice into your own hands, is that it? And now you take whatever you need? Pull your head out your ass, Henry, and take a good look around you. Wars come and go, but nothing really changes. It's the poor that do the dying, and the nobles who reap the rewards. We have to survive somehow, so why concern ourselves with morals? Eh. Fair enough. I mean, in my society, uh, law and order is, does a pretty good job. But in this society, I, I think, I don't know... Well, then, no, I wouldn't just go rob random people. That's kind of an excuse. But as far as feudalism goes as a political system, it's kind of like, yeah, okay, you guys are all dirt farmers for life, and if you look at us the wrong way, we'll spill your intestines into the ground that you don't even own, that you work for us. Meanwhile, I'm a lord, and I'm just going to go jerk off in my castle on this pile of gold that I have. Um, and the reason I'm a lord is because fuck you. That's why. I have I have a monopoly on military power. Yep. Yeah, that's uh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't really care too much about what laws they made at that point. Or, well, I would at sword point. Well, that's about it doesn't exactly engender good feelings of uh, civic duty. Can you tell me something about the other millers? There's a couple of other fellows around here in my trade. Woodsek in Kohelnitz and Simon in Sasa. Tell me about Wojtek. He's young and hot-blooded with a short temper. But he's a fine fellow when you get to know him. His heart's in the right place and he's always willing to lend a helping hand. Unfortunately, 
He got himself into a feud with that usurer, the merchant Wolfram Pruder. A slimy bastard he is. And now they're sworn enemies. What about this Simon in Sassau? An odd one he is. A loner who don't talk much. But he's as dogged as a hunting hound once he gets his teeth into anything. He won't let go until he sees it through, even if he has to walk over dead bodies. Damn. I wonder how this pickpocketing thing works. Would you teach me something about the, uh, milling craft? Like how to get things out of strangers' purses into your own? Aye. Why not? You're handy enough. No doubt you'll master it. Come behind the mill where we won't be seen. Okay, he just drops that bag on the floor. Ooh, I get to learn how to pickpocket. That's pretty cool. Do I need to poo? All right, let's do this. I'll stand here and pretend I don't know you're there. You try sneaking up behind me without me seeing you, and take something from my purse. First, you have to rummage in the purse. The longer you do it, the better chance you have of finding something valuable, but also of getting caught in the act. Once you've found something you want, you've got to pull it out, carefully, but fast enough so I don't notice. Try stealing my dagger. It's there, mixed up with other things. Okay. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, so... I need the help screen. Okay. Picking pockets is no junkie if you're caught. You first have to sneak up on them unnoticed and then holding it. There's a step as the grip and of the purse by holding A. The longer you can grope. <laughs> so the longer you can, oh, okay. Then steal, you have to exceed the minimum time for gripping, which you will recognize by the background of the rose, change the color from red to green. Oh man, this is complicated. The place where you are stealing. Oh, the place. Oh, I, I see. I get it. Place for stealing. Oh, uh, okay. Caught you. If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Okay, so. All right, so. Caught you. If this was for Jesus. real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. What? Caught you. If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Caught you. I don't understand. For real, I'm confused for about Try what I'm again. supposed to do here. So I hold down A to pickpocket. All right. So I hold down A. Hold down A. Okay. So I'm groping now. So the longer I can do this. Caught you. If this was for real, I'd be uh, yelling for a guard. Okay. So don't move. Caught you. If this was for real, I'd be or, yelling for a guard. All right, hold down A. Sneaking behind him. Caught you. If this was for real, I'd be yelling. What for did a I do there? I I was just again. holding on A, just like last time. Is it random? Caught you. If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Uh, okay. 
So I'm groping. Oh, I see. It's okay. So now I want to go to here, reveal that, take, and then leave. That's the way. I hardly noticed you were there. I think you're ready to try it out for real. Best practice on drunks and sleeping folk, so you don't end up in jail before you even get started. Thanks, Pashek. You're welcome. But I'll be having that dagger back now. Cool. Alright, that's kind of fun. Alright, alright, I, I think I got it. Alright, so you, you gotta sneak, and then you... You enter the groping phase. <laughs> um, and then... The longer you can grope, the better. It has to be done for at least a minimum time. But the longer you try to grope, the more likely you are to get caught, and the little little dial thing will start to get redder as you risk being caught. Then once you're done groping, you release A, you stop holding it, and then you... Um, I'm just out later. Ugh. Uh, and, and then you release A, and then you go into the actual minigame, and then that time start the time that you accrued begins to count backwards. And then you gotta quickly go around in the in the little menu and look for the items, and then and then get out basically. So yeah, so that's interesting. It's pretty cool. Well, anyway, that's enough for this episode. We flirted. We engaged in, engaged in courtship. Uh, I got a lot better at picking locks, and then I also got a lot better at uh, picking pockets. And we finally paid off the miller, so now I... Yeah, that quest is out of my inventory. I'm out of debt, guys. That feels really good. Anyway, I'll see y'all next episode. Until then, as always, check out my Patreon link down below if you want to support me on Patreon. You know, just $5 a month is only 17 cents a day, and for that you can play SHR. It's way cheaper than a typical MMO that costs 15 a month. Think about it. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll see you guys next episode. Until then, as always, take it easy. <laughs>